Love this amazing life of yours, every minute of it, every nanosecond of it. Love the difficulties, love the joys. Let those difficulties and challenges be your steps. Namaste everyone, this is Roshni Shanaz. Welcome to Fitta. As we enter this beautiful festival of love, harmony, compassion, let us share today on how to move from being God-fearing to God-loving. Today's chant and mantra is connected to the compassion of the Lord for us. It goes as Om Mani Padme Ham, which is a six-syllable Buddhist mantra particularly associated with the four-armed sadakshari form of the Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion. It has the powers of the six syllables which form the perfect six paramitas of the bodhisattvas. It is said to contain the entire teaching. Om blesses to help you achieve the perfection in the practice of generosity. Ma helps perfect the practice of pure ethics. Ni helps achieve perfection in the practice of tolerance and patience. But the fourth syllable helps to achieve perfection of perseverance. Me helps in achieving perfection in the practice of concentration. And the sixth syllable, hum, helps achieve perfection in the practice of wisdom. Thus the incantation of this mantra recitation helps achieve perfection in all the six key practices of life from generosity to wisdom. So close your eyes and get into a meditative state as we begin the chant. Inhale and exhale. And today we will chant a set of three of three times each of this mantra. Feel the energy getting calmer and quieter from within with every inhale and exhale. Always in meditation, Try to put your palms open facing the ceiling or put them in chin mudra or the gyan mudra and rest them onto your knees or the lap. We shall now chant three times into three sets. Feel all the love surrounding you. Awakening all the attributes of the bodhisattvas. And chant with me. protection surrounding you. And as you envelope yourself with these vibrations, count to five in your mind's eye and then slowly open your eyes. For any prayer or meditative time, never jerk back your eyes open immediately. Stay in the inner silence and calmness for some time and then slowly come into your waking consciousness in your daily life's humdrum. My God and Master Meher Baba said, Pure love is matchless in majesty. It has no parallel in power and there is no darkness it cannot dispel. Only love for God works the miracle 
because love is beyond mind and reason now all our life we have heard and been asked to be god fearing because god punishes the bad and rewards the good but the truth is that god is pure love and forgiveness and above all complete beautiful compassion he is not the one punishing us it is our sanskaras through the thoughts words and actions that are a result of those sanskaras that became our karma which is punishing or rewarding us god or divine forces like our guardian angels archangels never harm us fear or disempower us neither do they judge us but sadly society could only be controlled by the fear of the unknown and fear of the unseen so time in memorial we have been molded into this thing which is made to fear god through punishment there was god punishing us or the boogie man taking us away when we didn't eat food as children such are the deep imprints of fear installation all through our childhood and through lifetimes today i want you to shift this belief through this wisdom that i am sharing god is only love and since we are created in that very likeness of god we are love ourselves it is only that we are not operating out of that divine love most of the times and rather getting sucked into the maya of power lust greed disharmony and all other facets of the governing ego ego is said to be an acronym edging god out when we allow this karma through the ego we are erasing god out of the equation by not operating through the innate love energy that we all are comprising of can you ever imagine to close your eyes and think how to hurt and punish someone i dearly love truly love it's not possible can you do that then how can we ever believe the hogwash that god has to be feared when he created us have you ever feared when you have done only good have you feared when you have scored the great marks on your merit no why because there is nothing to fear which means that fear is only surfacing when we feel insecure when we feel that we have done some harm some wrong to someone in some way or another but if we wish to lead a life of goodness of love then why would i focus on the fear energy because as we know spiritually where the focus goes energy grows so the very thing of constantly connecting god to fear energy dilutes the love energy intrinsically present in all of us so no that god is only loving compassionate and all forgiving and just love god and try to live god through any of these beautiful ways in your life when you do that you will see how amazing or more amazing your life becomes so here are a few things to love and live god in your daily life so that you never ever have to fear him or her love this amazing life of yours every minute of it every nanosecond of it love the difficulties love the joys let those difficulties and challenges be your steps love the dilemmas that make you stronger and overcoming those challenges which make you more courageous love the frustrations love the satisfactions love being able to make things happen love being there for someone love not judging anyone love not discriminating anyone love being in oneness with others love to just be there for someone love standing in empowerment for things that you cannot change love being courageous to make the things change where you can love everything that you can possibly change whenever you can love all that you have and also love the fact 
when you were not given everything that you wanted because there always will be a reason whether we may know of it or not know of it but remember that god will never hurt us it is our complete 100% responsibility of the sanskaras and the karma we create that is responsible for the outcomes and results but by loving god it is like having a loving parent the auto debit and the auto credit of karma goes on in the bank passbook but when the account is completely poof, null and void and zero the loving parent may give us the startup account money again and say all right start it off and i will help you that is what god is that is what prayers charity and goodness is and when you have all of that you have nothing and no one to fear so from today love all that you have and the things you cannot ever have love the moments of relaxation and love the times of your efforts love the dawn and love the dusk love the dark love the night love the thunder and the sunshine love until you can love each and every day and then find more things to love so that when you love and live god in your daily life you awaken that god within you and i hope that each of you are able to do just that when we collectively awaken this god energy within us we shall see how beautiful the world can become the very paradise that we all dream of so keep practicing love gratitude and all the wonderful things that i have shared with you across these weeks and keep chanting the powerful mantras as well so that these incantations can help you heal and become more courageous more integral more loving more compassionate more kind in your daily life until then keep watching fit tak and i shall see you next week stay super blessed loved and always protected and yes everything in god's speed love you all blessings